How you doing? It's Trina Sanderson here on the infamous Living Room Network. Thank you so much for tuning in. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. Yep. I'm on my eighth bottle of water today. My eighth bottle. So by the way, guys, always when you buy water, always get um spring water. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's 100% natural spring water. I always get spring water. It's the freshest water um, that you can possibly buy out of the store. Now, there is another water that one a good friend is uh, introducing me to called uh, medical water. And it has electrons in it. And it keeps the body very, very energized for at least 72 hours. And it's the same type of water that astronauts and you know NASA used to supply the astronauts and stuff like that. It's very high-tech water, and I'll introduce that to you later on in the Living Room Network. But anyway, <clears throat> let's get right down into it, guys. How to attract your crowd, how to attract your flock, how to attract people that are just like you who understand where you come from, how to attract people that think like you think, how to attract people that, you know, eat like you eat, <laughs> sleep like you sleep, think like you think, you know. Who want to go to the same places you want to go. Who want to do the same things that you want to do in life. So the question is, how do you attract those people in your life? Well, first things first, what you would do is be yourself. The only way you can attract people into your life that are just like you is when you're being yourself. Because if you're being somebody else that you're not, you're going to attract the wrong people to your life. And then you're going to wonder why you're always attracting the wrong people in your life. You know, for instance, a lot of women out there want to find a certain man. The only way you find that man that you are really seeking and looking for is if you be yourself. You cannot be somebody whom you are not. You know, a lot of people um, want to be something they are not, but they want the results that they want. You can't get the results that you really, 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 truly desire if you're being something completely different from what you really are you know what i'm saying so that's very important and when i say be yourself i mean um don't wear a mask like uh don't 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 portray to be somebody that you're not not unless not unless um it's your skill trade you know it's a hobby to be an actor or you know anything of that sort or like you you, you like just having a whole bunch of faith and belief and confidence in, you, in who you are as a personality that's cool I, that's understandable but when i say be somebody that you're not i mean like uh doing it for likes or doing something to get credit doing something to get people to look at you, see you, see me, hey, look at me, like, that is not being yourself, so, that is the first thing you have to do in order to attract your flock, another thing that you have to do to attract your crowd and your flock and the people that, you know, attract to you is just pay attention to other people's um, attributes rather than your own all the time, A, a lot of us cannot zero in on who we need to really be around because we're so focused on ourselves like you have to take some of that energy and put it into your third eye and beam down on certain people that you think might be like you and and usually they give themselves away they give themselves away because they like you a whole lot and you overlook it because you think that they're lame you think that they're not up to par you think they're corny you think they're like all over your shoulder, all on your back, riding you, whatever you want to call it. Those are the people that really like you for who you are. You can't get mad when um, somebody's all of a sudden just on your coattail. That's just That just means that they like you. And um, you should try to look into befriending that person because that's somebody that, that really enjoys... You know, what you do, who you are, where you're going, the things that you like, stuff like that. So, you know, let's get friendly, guys, and let's not be so much, um, you know, like so rude to people for no reason. You know, so, um, yeah, that's that. Um, So, and just really, you know, 
talking to people, you know, speaking up. You know, speak up, let your voice be known. This is the Living Room Network, man. Subscribe. New videos every other day, new insights. We're real down to earth. We're rolling deep topics. Making ourselves better, other people's lives better, and the world a better place, you know. Um, so, if you can just speak up, when people step out, you'll be surprised at what you get back, you know. You have to, you have to let your voice be heard. You have to let you, you cannot be scared to let your voice be heard. You have to let your voice be heard and people will hear your voice. And some, some may answer, some may not. Many are called, but chosen are few. Okay? So, I hope that resonated with you guys. This is the Living Realm Network. Let's get interconnected. All you business savvy people out there, let's get connected. This is the Living Realm Network. Um, please share. Once again, subscribe. Speak up. Let your voice be known. New videos every single day. Boy, what you doing? What you talking about, boy? Deep Topics. Hashtag Deep Topics. Hashtag LRN. Living Realm Network. Peace. See y'all next time.